Sweetians, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are starting off our Let's Discover University Let's Play. So, you can see I have our Sim here. Her name is Addison Vaughn, and I have the um, new aspiration for her. Um, let me put in... Our cheats, because you know, can't have life without cheats. I'm not going to lie. Let's see here. It is this one that I am going to need. So before we start with anything, I'm going to give you a little bit of a story. And we are going to start her story off in Cass. So, with Daba Harfane. This is Addison Vaughn, and she is currently a teenager right now. Um, I did not create her. I have modified her. So, we're going to go over to my library real quick. And you can see I have a bunch in here. Because, you know, I follow some really awesome people. And some of them are mine. Where is she? She's been in here for a long time. I've been waiting for something to use her on really well. I should have hit her around in here, I believe. Maybe a little sooner? Yeah, I see you. Whatever, huh. baby. Oh, there she is. I went past her. She is created by a semi sweetness. So if you would like to have her, this is what she looks like. I did change her a bit and stuff, but yeah, she is awesome and gorgeous. And I had her looking like that. And then when Discovery University came out, I dressed her as you can see. And then I wanted to use the Discovery University hair, this one here, because like it's gorgeous and it's like my hair and I love it. So, I'm just going to show you her outfits really quick. So, this is her first everyday outfit, her second outfit, her third, ah. fourth, and fifth. So, we will see her changing up quite a bit. I wanted some good changes with her. This is her formal, her second formal, and her third formal. So, I tried to represent all of the outfits. Now, this is what I had her in at first, which is no discover university at all just got a backwards cap and everything which i love this cap it's so cute why couldn't they have added something like that instead they had this big old chunky thing i mean is it just me or did the chunkiness like on her head go up uh, but all right so this is all university stuff and then here is sleepwear one and sleepwear two if it's like colder then she's got party wears, outfit one, two, three, that by the way is the cutest outfit ever, four, and five, her swimwear, you know, they had no university swimwear, so that is just what I gave her already. And then her hot weather outfit, uh -huh. there's this outfit, that outfit, which this top is like so cute, look at that, oh, and there's that outfit, that one. And that one. I mean, like, this one ain't the most hot weatherish, but I wanted to represent all the outfits I could, so I just kind of fit it in there. So, for her Ooh. cold weather, she has that outfit if it's, like, fall, this one for, like, spring, and that one for, like, winter, winter, snow on the ground. So, there is our girl, Miss Addison Vaughn. Like I said, we have picked the new aspiration. It's Knowledge. And it's academic. The sim wants to attend university and get a job, but most importantly, learn. She is also a music lover, and that was instilled by her parents. We'll go a bit into that. And this is a custom trait. It's Ooh, called talented, and the sim this? is good at everything. Um, they try, and it's just you know her parents put a lot of pressure on her. So. 
that is her. Then I created her parents because like I said, wanted a little bit of a story to go with her. And I don't know why I just went out of there because we still kind of needed that. Okay, well her parents, as you know, are still here. She has her mother, Reagan Vaughn, which is unemployed. She's a music lover an art lover and a snob. She is in the upper crest. She is kind of a friends with her mom. Her mom comes from a wealthy side of the family and has always been uh, well endowed. And her mother got intrigued with her father, Brady Vaughn, um, which she don't know all of her daddy's traits, but <laughs> she's not as best of friends with him. He's in the good timer, so he likes to go out and have fun every now and then. He is a celebrity lawyer, so he is very high up there. You know, he's done really well at his job. He's genius. He's self-assured and, I believe, confident. I don't remember what I gave him. And this is just someone she met since I moved her over here from away from the family. So, I did create the family, and then we got to go back in. I don't know why I did that. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> oh... My head's Shabby not Britta. feeling the best today, so I do apologize um, to get her to come up. If you go onto my gallery, I will load her up. She's not loaded up yet, but you do have to have CC linked, and that is because I do have custom skins on her and everything. But this is what she looks like. Um, she has Discover University and then Outdoor Retreat, obviously, and custom CC because of skins and stuff and her eyes um, she says her description is and this is her story a young lady that was born on the upper side of life that is striving to find herself she was born to a very fortunate family and has and was an only child well, if I got the W on that <laughs> was an only child and was spoiled beyond belief however she has as she has grown older and her parents are relentless in pushing her in the right direction, she makes an unbelievable decision that is sure to change her life. Will she turn out to be the person she wants to be or fall flat and crawl back home to become what is expected of her? Only time will tell. So we are going to play out Addison Bond's story. And what her unbelievable decision was is, you know, her family does not live here as you can see she is the only one in my active family that is quite loud in my head her family lives in Dulcel Valley like I said her father is a well-known lawyer they live way up here on the hills they have a butler she's been very pampered in her life in fact her room is still there her parents still want her to come home and they want her to go to brightchester they're really pushing and she's in salani there we go you know they both went to brightchester they are bu all the way and they really want her to go to brightchester her mother As if we have not heard that enough already. Okay, sorry. Her mother has went to Brychester for a lawyer degree. Her father, of course, has went for the lawyer degree. She does not work because, you know, her father is like, you know, I will support you. I do not want you to work. I want you to raise our child. And so they did have, you know, kind of that great life. Um, and, you know, since Reagan is from a very wealthy family and well do, the women just don't work. They're expected to be taken care of and take care of the family. And that is the way it is for them. So Brady has done very fortunate in taking care of everyone in the household. They, you know, are well off. Miss Reagan here has the wants to have a successful lineage line. And Brady is wanting to be um, a mansion baron, I believe, or the fortune one that goes with that. He wants to have lots of money, which he does. Um... And they're well off. So I've spent some time. I made the house at home. So in case she fails and we go back. But this is. And I'll zoom out here. Let me get up all the walls and do all that. Okay. So this is their little. Like getaway house. This is their 
summer vacation home and Addison is like look I'm getting ready to graduate high school I'm going off to college I don't want to go to BU I don't want to be a lawyer I want to go to Foxbury and if that means that you know I have to make decisions and be on my own then I will and her father's like you know I'm not going to support that I'll pay for your college if you go to BU if you don't go to Brightchester I'm not paying for it so she has took a stand against her parents and has moved out to the um, family vacation home. So there is very little things here. There's, you know, a one bedroom here. So she brought her little chest from her bedroom. She brought her laptop and she has her radio. Um, and she has her, um, yeah, this Linux speaker. So she brought pretty much her electronics from her bedroom and that was about all they allowed her to have. So this is where she is starting and she is about a week, yeah, four more days until she ages up. So we have just enough time for her to start her life in college. So I'm gonna have her come over here and go to university and I'm gonna have her research the university of her choice and then when she's done researching we are going to have her apply for scholarships um she's going to first ask for the guidance counselor's information so Flina Bully ha but her character values she has a lot of manners of course you know growing up Okay, Foxbury Institute, um, consistently rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream. Degrees are art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine arts, um, language, and history. Um, language and literature and history and to distinguish degrees are biology computer science economics physics psychology psychology and villainy and the organizations are spirit squad brainiacs and bot savants so she has done that so now she's going to talk to the guidance counselor because you know she is very much interested huh. and we're going to Oops. Of course, she's going to start her music because she likes music. She's a music lover, as instilled by her mother. Um, Addison has the best chance of earning these scholarships. Future stars. Sims who are adept at any of the performing arts skills may be eligible for this. Education for all. Sims who really, with really low household funds will be eligible to apply for the scholarship. Solani residents. Um, a 250 not eligible for adults okay so we're gonna go back to university scholarships and we're gonna review the packet so why she's doing that a little bit more since she grew up in a very wealthy family of course she has manners she's also had to be very responsible she has pretty good emotional control she doesn't have any conflict resolution and her empathy is like none. She she doesn't care about others. She cares about herself. Um, knowing your scholarships, distinguished scholarships. Sims who have been accepted into distinguished degree programs will automatically receive scholarships with an amount based on how many distinguished degrees they've gotten into. Working on a Sims grades and skills before applying can lead to more degree acceptance and in turn more scholarship money need-based scholarships every sim deserves a university education and the need-based education for all and helping hand scholarships are designed to give a sims from households with less of with less a chance to attend sims with less savings and assets are encouraged to apply skills scholarships sims who have developed any number of practical skills are eligible to apply for a variety of skill-based scholarships those hours spent working on cooking, fishing, handiness, and many other skills can turn into scholarship funds. However, these scholarships are targeted at younger students. 
and are not also available for adults and elder. Career scholarships. Universities want to encourage younger Sims that may be dipping their toes into the job market. These scholarships offer teen and young adult Sims who have achieved some amount of career success a way to help pay for a university education that kind of boosts them in their career of choice. And then there's the sports and esports scholarship. There are a few scholarships that require Sims to participate in and after school activities as part of the requirements. An athletic scholarship requires a sim to be on the soccer team while the esports scholarships requires a sim to be an esports competitor. A sim cannot be accepted by both of these scholarships at the same time. And then there's the residence grants. For ten teens and young adults, the place they live may offer grants providing student financial help in pursuing a university education. Each location has its own grants amounts excuse me and students are encouraged to apply to represent their community all right so now okay so before she does that oh, she's gonna work on her homework we're gonna let her do that um so you know growing up in the wealthy snobby home of her mother she, you know she doesn't have empathy for people she is talented, she's a music lover, and she's a quick learner due to her traits and the skills she has so far, which she has quite a bit because she was a background home I played. She has some charisma, some comedy, cooking, a little dancing, fitness logic. She has piano and violin are her highest. She's eight of both. Oh, humor and hijinks in town. And that's because her mother has always had her ha take piano lessons and violin lessons and knowing the arts and like all of that. So she had to deal with that. Um, she has a little bit of pipe organ skills. She has programming skills because that is how she's made the little bit of $425 that she has to get out from under her parents. She enjoys a little singing to her music, um, video gamings every now and then, and she has a little bit of the wellness um, skill as well because her family believes in not only, no mom, we're not, not only taking care of your mind, but taking care of your body. So I'm going to have her get a little bit of handiness going. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Because, you know, well, maybe. I doubt it. I doubt anything needs taken care of. Nope. Oh, she can come clean the lint tray. Nope, she has no handiness skill. So, that's the way it's going to be. So, oh well. So I'm going to have her come over here and scholarships, I'm going to have her apply for scholarships. And she's just a jamming and having fun. Yep. The only thing she has in her inventory, of course, is her homework and her earbuds. Um, future star Sims who are adopt for the performing arts skills, education for all, and Sulani residents. So I'm going to have her apply for all of them. And we are going to see what happened. And then we are going to have her apply to university. And then she needs to finish her homework. And I don't think it's going to make her go to school today. It's going to make her go to school tomorrow because I jumped this into a new save file to start this. So, yeah. I think we're going to end up having a day, but we'll see. Addison's university application is on the way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometimes in the next few days. Allison may want to check her application status on the computer anytime. 
and she is tense immediately um the stress of waiting for the application results uh -huh. is maddening her whole future is writing on this acceptance letter and for her it really is because if she doesn't get into foxberry then you know she's going to have to go crawling back home and go to brychester something she doesn't want to do she doesn't want to be a lawyer she wants to be a teacher and she wants to go to foxberry huh. and she likes programming and doing stuff like that so she wants to be on the bot savants and you know she has all these dreams for herself so after that i'm gonna have her play sim shuffle because you know why not that's the new one that they put on with this update and it is so darn cute because it was not there before and we are gonna wait to see if it's going to make her go to school um, actually, no, she needs to go to the bathroom. So, girl, come over here and use the toilet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Go. I know you're stressed. Okay. Girl, I know you are... This needs to go volume down. Ugh. I know you're having a good time with it, but it needs to go down. Don't you shout forbidden words. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna make her go to school tomorrow, not today. There's nothing I can do about that, so. All right. So there she goes. Go shout forbidden words. She's like, oh, I'm so stressed. My parents are so crazy. So, this is where she's at. She's in Solani, which is so beautiful here. So, so cute. And, you know, she might go swimming or something, relieve some stress in a minute. But right now, I have her working on a little bit of money. So, she is, uh, gonna wind it down and work try to control herself here and uh we are gonna try to earn some money so this girl you know she's gonna go to university she's gonna have to pay for it and take out student loans she's quite stressed as you can see oh she's shaking it off there so she is going to have to buckle down and instead of go doing the fun things of teenagers life is to literally work so I'm going to play fast forward on here. Oh, is she playing a game? I thought we were like modding. <laughs> well, program. You need to start a side job here. I, I'm so sorry. I thought I had you programming. No, you're you're playing a game. After seeing one that, after seeing one. At that conference, I need to have a mechanical mixologist. I built one from household scraps, but can't get the UI working. It's only making soda water. I'll pay you to fix it. No price too high. Okay, so, girl, get your programming on. Enjoy your emotional control and get it going. Yeah, you can call your one little friend here in a minute. Well, quit downgrading your manners. Oh, her emotional control has went up all the way now. She has learned how to bite her tongue, as her mother would say. We're shouting forbidden words and get the job done. She's so stressed out. Two more days. Oh. I never usually play on speed 3, but it's kind of boring to sit here and watch them do this, but it's what she needs to do, so I'm sorry, y'all. Her $425 is down to $350 now. Oh, she's lonely. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, honey. Alright. Well, you need to get to bed for school in the morning. So, 
so I'm just gonna have you come and go to sleep as you can see I haven't even assigned the bed to her which we can now assign the left and the right side of the bed to our sims which is so cute I love that love that because it always bothered me when I couldn't control what side of the bed they went to sleep on because I don't know about you guys but there is definitely a certain side of the bed I sleep on every night and I always sleep on the right side because I'm always right so I sleep on the right side of the bed okay school starts in an hour so she needs to get up and does she have anything no she doesn't oh poor girl she needs to have come get you some fruit salad I know you're hungry my bad use that take a quick shower Woo! she gonna break it and then can you chat with Dwayne Girl, you're going to be late for school. We'll just do that. Because you ain't going to have time. It's taking you forever. Of course, you're used to the butler making your breakfast every morning. So, yeah, I can see why. You're like, oh, I got to get up and make my own food. He's not here. No, no, he's not. All right, her cooking's going up because she has to take care of herself. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, now she don't have time for that because she's got to go to school. So hurry up. Eat, eat, eat. Leave it. I'll take care of it. Go off to school oh you're wearing that today okay cute bye all right and we are going to have her do normal today oh what what did this come from knowing your scholarships we already did all that okay did i click something i didn't mean to all right so she used the bathroom at school she's talked to a few people and um, she is <laughs> Addison has she's a top student during lunch period the high schoolers work together to get some of their homework done all right come and use this take a shower I'm gonna have you call Dwayne now oh he's lifeguarding And, you know, you would think I would have gave her some more friends, but, you know, I spent, like, a whole day yesterday setting up the storyline for you guys so I could play today. And, like, my head hurts today. I was going to get up and uh, finish everything of finishing up her friend setup and all that. And I was just like, you know what? I just want to dive in and play. I'm done setting up the storyline and all this. I'm done. You know, normally I would, but my head hurts. And I overslept this morning. I'm like, nope, we're just going to play. That's it. And then she needs to serve lunch. And we're going to have her serve some BLTs. That sounds good for her. Girl, you didn't even get your hygiene up all the way. And you didn't even call him. Quit breaking everything. <laughs> Calm down. Here, calm yourself down, please. And then can you check your scholarship, university? Check your status. Man. So the great thing about her being musical is, you know, she will gain fun just by listening to the music and, you know, calming herself down so she can bring herself to do everything. Because, you know, she has this sad life. Alright, so now she has something in the fridge. 
There we go. She's upped her cooking level. Just 13 more hours here. We're gonna take that off the table and can you call Dwayne now, please? Or are you gonna finish eating first? She's gonna finish eating first, okay. I can live with that. Here, call Dwayne. Check your status, then we got to do our homework. Now you want to call someone on the phone. Well, you already are. Um, I'll let you one more time. I will put this in for you, I guess. And da da da. Still going through, okay. She's gonna do her homework. Do that. Come on, girl. Get moving. Go, go, go. Oh, that ten smoothlets back. Do your extra credit. Then you gotta come back over here under programming and continue your side job because. You don't get to have much more fun, you get to work. Alright. It is already 7.30 at night, and this girl is just now getting to life. Ugh, poor child. The trying to be an adult life. She's like, I'm ready for bed already. Come on, get the job done. Oh, Daryl's here? Where? Oh, I'll see Daryl. Eh. You can find him, you can chat to him. After your side job's done. Awaiting university. Four more hours. Okay. You got this. You can do this, girl. <laughs> He's swimming through the house. Sims glitch. The door even opened for him. <laughs> Dude, um, I think you're a little bugged. Wow. All right. Shake it off. Get back to it. Come on. Oh, she's ready for bed again already. Come on, finish this up so you can earn your money. Come on. You got it. You're almost there, girl. Go. Go, Addison. Go. Alright, focus. Turn off, please. I'm tired of hearing you. You're driving me bonkers. Are you done? Ugh, Sneed. Shabina. It says you're done, but you're not. Please don't have glitched out. Bye. Okay, well, you need to go to bed for school. 
So I guess we're stopping. I guess it glitched. Wonderful. We'll fix it later. Go to bed. Hopefully you can get up with enough time to do everything tomorrow. Because, you know, you need to go to school. So off to bed we go. I know, very exciting. She has such a hard life. It's so exciting right now. And as you see, her parents haven't come to her aid at all. They're just like, she thinks she can do it. Let her do it. And then get leftovers. Oh, she's so stinky. Girl, Orba. quit not doing what I'm telling you to do. Oh, no. oh, she's crying in the shower. I feel so bad for her. Okay. Earbuds, we're going to turn them on so she can listen to them at school today. She needs to tune the world out. She is very much stressed in life. Yep, school starts here really soon. Okay, maybe she won't cancel all that out on me now. She's like, I deserve just a long hot shower with my music and oh, that's what I deserve today. That is what I am doing. All right, I love you, girl, but you, you got other needs. Get out. Oh, that outfit is so cute together. Oh, so cute. All right, lead away. Well, she's not gonna have enough time to call. She's going to have just enough time to do this and go off to school today. Don't you turn that on. You have headphones on. Ah, girl. You do not need all that music. Her mom wouldn't even let her bring her violin. She's like, nope, you'll just hack it. I'm not letting you take it. She's like, you'll just sell it for money. You don't care about music that much. And she's like, but I do. Alright. Off to school, girl. Have a good day. Oh, we're wearing that one today? Okay, cute. And this chest thing they came out with? Oh my gosh, I so love it. Because I always try to use those other chests. Um. Oh, she's met a new friend to store their stuff in. Oh, Mel's delivered. It's an acceptance letter. Oh, she melt land grabs. Who are you? Makoa. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm not even on fast forward speed now that the mail came. Bum, bum, bum. She's in school. Do, do, do. Yep, it's almost time for her to age dress. Oh no. Okay. Get the mail. It appears as if medicine has a problem with the alphabet. She can't get past A's. And she worked on her homework on lunch again because, you know, she's that type of student. Alright, she collected everything. What is it? Oh! Scholarship letters. Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. Are y'all ready? Scholarship result. Oh, hold on. It'll tell me which one. This is the future star. Open. Addison won scholarship for future star and valued at $200. Go, Addie! All right. This one is education for all. 
And she got that, and she got it for 500. All right, Addy, are you three for three? This is the Solani residence. And she won 250 for that. So she has gotten all three. Oh my gosh. She's got a new moodlet too. It says confident killer school day. If only there was some way that could rate Addison's school day, definitely it would be a 10. Look at her. She is so excited. She's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at me. I got this. I'm going to do it. Woo. Look at her go. She's so excited. Oh my gosh. Do it again. I need a picture. And she got a new one. She says sizable scholarship. Rising cost of education make earning scholarships more rewarding. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Addy. Good job. Your hard work is paying off. I'm going to have you call and tell your mom. And then you're going to call, because you know they're not together, and tell your dad all about it. And be like, you know what? You said I couldn't do it, and I did it. There we go. Volume's down. Oh, she's got people at her door. Lots of people. Cheerful introduction. Oh, they're coming to bring me extra food. Oh, invite neighbors in. Alright, tell dad you're done. Can I go all the way down here because you ain't got a lake porch? Okay. She's like, oh, thanks, guys. It looks like you could use some food, so we thought we was dropped by if you wanted some. We had plenty extra to share. Oh, you guys are so nice. Thank you. So we're going to be so nice, and we're going to talk to all the neighbors and tell them thank you. They are just the huh? awesomest. They gave us some koala pork. Call them all to the mail, Addy. I know you don't have... A lot of food, oh, but be like, you know, you brought it for me, please eat with me. I only have two places to eat, but you know, you're more than welcome to sit and eat with me. Thank you so much. Nisoda, oh, Moochie Beachy. Like, they're all grabbing out of the middle of the room. So, this should really help her social. Haga, Ritz. Vadish. Room. And we'll just let her talk a bit. And she's just, you know, gonna be excited about the day. Why not? Be like, this is the best day ever. She's telling them all about how, you know, she's doing from her parents. She's gonna do this on her own. She's got this. And they're so excited for her. Wamba boy, Yambalala. Veruda Kampol. Lumbic Yarl. Shana. Alright, come on. Kala Kaliba Fippe. Tork Bashoshi. Bainas Kabo. Kamus Dway. She's like, alright, thanks for coming. Bye, guys. Finia Payfim. 
New soda. Oh, Moochie Beat. Caribbean Un Tim Lamina. Pule Nagalna. Nibahana. New Beam Shore. All right. The Samba. Dag. Leave. Time for them all to go. It's getting late. Chibi. Chelvina. Zopi. The bow. A sick of flesh. Miss Stevie Flina. Shelsh. Chinchuyas Lekem. A Conchibo Lava. Viva Desu. Come on. Take this talk out. Go, go, go. Rekalulu Saquinario. Smurgus. Oh, then she has to go to the bathroom. Levar. Oh, Nabaquink. Go pee. Ooh. And then she's gonna go sing in the shower. Eat. Would you leave? Girl, you're driving me crazy. No. Ask her to leave. No playing on my computer. I need you to go home now. I think Sims oh. take way too long to wash yeah. their hands. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna go tell her she needs to go home now. Uh -huh. Tell her bye. Uh -huh. How long do we got? Uh -huh. Oh. You, you don't have much longer. Should really get going now. Well, no crap, please. Thank you. You've spent all day here. Then I'm going to have her come and check on her application status. I doubt it's going to tell us anything, but check back later. But, you know, she's going to. And she has had an awesome day so far, so. And then she's going to go to sleep early so she can get up and do her homework. This is the best we've gotten her needs since we've done this. So she's doing good. She is doing good. Uh, do I have to care about this phone call? We'll see. No. I do not. They can have the answering machine. I don't need to care about them. Okay. So let's see. Yes, I hear you. Let's see, what is it going to tell us? Probably check back later. We're still reviewing. Oh my goodness! She got an acceptance letter! So she got accepted into Brightchester and Foxbury. Oh my gosh, look at everything she unlocked. She unlocked so much from Brightchester and from Foxbury. Oh my goodness, she has gotten it all. Yes. She's like, oh, yes. So we are going to send her to bed. Oh, she's so confident. We're going to let her go to sleep. All right. So she is on. This girl is has been able to jump out of her parents' home and do what she has set out to do. So she is ready for this. We're gonna come and grab some leftovers. I'm gonna let her use the bathroom. Then she has got to do her homework. And she's only in a fine mood right now. Okay, so I think she would have been overly excited, but whatever, whatever. The girl can be the girl. School starts in an hour. She knows. She's on it today.
Alright, hurry up. You gotta finish your homework. You should have just enough time. Probably not enough for the extra credit, but you know you're doing good. It's okay. This is the best you have felt in like forever. So we're going to turn that on for you to keep your fun up while you're at school. She's happy. She's had good food. She's gotten accepted. Don't you turn that on. Do your homework and go to school. Come on. Go, go, go. Alright. Her homework is complete. She don't have time to do her extra credit, but she's good with that. And she's going to wear that to school today. Okay. Bye, girl. See you in the field. We'll miss you till you back. Alright. She's meeting more people at school because, you know, getting up her friend repertoire. So, when do we want to age her up? She has one more day to age up. So, I think we're just going to let her go to school tomorrow and then she'll start college on Monday. So, today's mail has been delivered. Is that her acceptance letter? Or is it bills? <laughs> Please don't be bills. You are not going very fast for speed three. Come on. Get out of my house. Oh, get mail. <laughs> She's very tense. The edge of a breakout. This stress is going to cause me a breakout. Ugh. Oh, she's crying. Oh, poor girl. She's like, oh, life is so hard. Oh, she's got her acceptance letter, so let's have her read it. She's like, I can't, I'm too scared. Woo! <laughs> so she got this on the computer last night and in a letter form today. And yep, it has all the same stuff unlocked. Oh, she's doing so great. I am so proud of our little Addie. Is she gonna do- Oh, she's so happy now. She's like, yes, I am so excited. All oh, those tears are real. And I'm gonna go scream at my parents. <laughs> oh, okay, girl. You make absolutely no sense, but whatever. I'm gonna have you call and tell your mother you got in, and then you're gonna call and tell your dad you know, thank you, but no thank you. I did this on my own. I am going to Foxbury. And then she's going to come and have a very relaxing little sing in the shower. And I'm going to have her go to call college yeah high school one more day on friday so that way she can start her term all on the same on monday probably hopefully so she needs to get out oh she's far too tense okay girl you need to get untense she's got about four more hours all right can far too tense to do that Girl, you're going to have to get over this. <laughs> we can't have life. We'll have you use then. And then we'll get some leftovers. We'll just we'll, we'll just get our needs up then while you're having an emotional meltdown. Even though you got in. Her parents have must have made her very upset over the phone. 
well distinguished from reading university acceptance letter, being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programs has Addison smiling. Can't tell that right now. Looks like it has Addison very upset. Oh my gosh, look at that walk. She's like, oh, I'm so over this. Can I age up yet? Can life get any easier? Gosh. Five hours? How does it go up? Wind down. Wind down. <laughs> I can't deal with you like this. <laughs> What do you want to do now? Shout? No. Would you stop it? You're taking your manners down. Okay, come on. Relax in a sauna. Girl, you don't have enough money to go. <laughs> You're gonna have to take your relaxation down other ways. Two more hours. Is it down yet? Oh! Okay. Listen to loud music. No. We are not going to listen to loud music. We are going to continue your side job now because we need to finish that money, honey. So you can go. There we go. Turn that back on. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get rid of that darn radio. <laughs> it helps them with their mood, but man, it's annoying to listen to. But she's happy. So we should be happy for her. She is happy. I'll just zoom out a little bit and get away from it so we don't have to listen to it. And when you're done, can you call and talk to Makoa? Guess I could speed through this. All right, wow, they paid us $822. So she's got a good chunk to go off to school with. Oh, that's so exciting. I don't feel bad now. She's like, I can afford to buy some textbooks and stuff now. I'm good. So we're going to have her do that. Then we're going to have her go to bed. And go to her last... <laughs> Told you I started a new file. I've been playing The Sims for way longer than five hours in my life. But okay, game. Okay. Tells you how long it's been since... I was setting up this. Okay, you can turn that off. You won't turn it off, but I will for you. All right, girl, you're going to bed for your last day of high school tomorrow. Then we are gonna age up and we'll invite over her parents. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure it will go far, but you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, she's hungry. Alright, come get some leftovers, I know. It's morning, it's good. Thank gosh the radio broke. <laughs> She's like, no, not my radio, I need that. No, no you don't. And if you haven't noticed, Addison has an obsession with peak. So, you know, she was raised in that very 
uppity uppity family and pink is for girls and blah 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 so you know she learns to love pink and she just likes it might be the one thing she carries with her from everywhere okay listening to that is annoying even though it's broken and then can you clean this up for your responsibility Ugh, washing hands take way too long in this game. There she goes. I'm having fun. How about you? Blah, blah, blah. And then she can chat with Dwayne before school. Oh, she's feeling inspired. She's like, I got this. This is the best ever day of my life. The last day of high school. No more of this for me. I am going to Foxbury. It's F you all the way. I just wanted to say it. Sorry. <laughs> I so wanted to say it that way. Oh, I know. Bad jokes. Bad jokes. But that, that's my sense of humor. She's like, okay, I got like a couple minutes before school. I'm going to talk to you. We had to pack up all of her stuff tomorrow. Alright, you're late for school. Say goodbye to wine. Alright, she's gonna wear that today, and she is out. See you later, my dear. Bye-bye. We'll miss you. And she's off to school. And this girl's just telling everybody. She's talking to them all. Do, 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 do. Uh, can they feed her at school? Alright! I need you to come and cook yourself sugar-free carbo coconut cake. What? We're going to have that because I've never seen that come up. Come on, come cook your cake. You're going to age up now. It's Friday. And in lighting school day, it's like things finally click today. Better make sure Allison does her homework before it unclicks. Well, that's not going to be a problem because she's going to college. She don't have to do your homework no more. Uh, Alright, girl. Next to your out-of-the-way radio. Oh, here. I will even be nice and I will turn on your earbuds for you, honey. So you can invite everyone over. Dun, dun, dun. Add birthday candles. All right, and she's upped her cooking level. So now let's plan a social event. She's going to invite people over for her birthday out at the vacation home. Cake party. Oh my gosh. I do not want it to be gold. Birthday sim is her. Alright, there we go. We don't need anybody else because we are poor. Bar, 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 nightclub, nope, 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 lounge. We are going to come here. Or we could have it at her parents' house. So you guys could see that house. No. She doesn't want to go back. We'll have it here. She had to change for that. She's like, da, da, da.
All right. We are going to throw away your homework, because why not? All right, here they all come. The birthday party is starting. All right. Come and repair it. So you can turn on the radio for everyone. Alright, she has the handiness skill now. People are coming. It's taking time, but they're coming. There we go. <laughs> Two robot me. salvage parts. All right. And it's the Spice Festival. No, thank you. She's like, thanks for coming, guys. See, here's her mama. There's Miss Rachel. Oh, Dad's coming. I see him sparkling. There we go. Throw that away real quick. Come and Thank your mom and dad for coming. Dad's right here. Oh, there's dad. That's what he looks like. He looks so sad. He's like, my baby is going to Foxberry. She got in. I am not thrilled. She was supposed to be going to BU. Now she's going to F you and saying F you to me. That's <laughs> such a bad joke. I know. Okay. More form group. Oh no. Okay. Well, I want to make sure they're in it. And then our great neighbors and our friends. All right, and then we're going to come and make a wish and be like, I am growing up, I've had my last day, and I am going to Foxberry, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. So she is going to be a genius like her father. <laughs> and then now she can call everybody to the cake. She's like, come on, guys. Come celebrate with me. Oh, she got a little bit of fame here. So, she's doing great. So, we are going to leave her with this. And the next time we see her, we will be going off to college. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the start of Addison's life in Discovering University and her story we are going with. So until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will see you all again soon. Bye guys! I'm not the one who's